Hi, I'm Ross Enamite from RossTraining.com. This video is a follow-up to a video that I filmed previously where I demonstrated how this ramp could be used to assist one when progressing towards achieving a full standing rollout with an ab wheel. Now since I posted the original video, I've had several questions come in from individuals who are interested in the idea of using a ramp to progress with this exercise, but they were looking for something that was a little bit easier to build. Now this particular ramp, you'll notice it's a bit wider here, and it also has a carpeted surface. The reason for that really has nothing to do with the wheel. I also use this on the ground when working with these furniture sliders, which I've also demonstrated previously. They work much better on this carpeted surface than they do on the rubber matted floor. So, if you're looking to use a ramp with the wheel, but you don't want to build something like that, there is a much easier option available to you. All that you really need is a piece of 2 by 10 inch wood, which you can see here. So it's 2 inches thick, 10 inches across, and it's 8 feet long. All that I've done to this piece of wood is just nailed in a small strip of 2 by 4 here. And what that's going to do is just help to keep my ramp in place when I rest it here on the bar of the power rack. So what I would do is perform a rollout up the ramp. Obviously, as, I, as your strength increases, what your ultimate goal is going to be is to work yourself down one step at a time until you're able to perform rollouts from the ground. So what I'll do is just give you a quick demonstration at this height. It would look like this. Just gonna roll out. So what I would then eventually do is again work myself down the ramp. Okay, now once you achieve a full standing rollout from the floor, you're still not necessarily done with the ramp. The ramp can also be used to make the exercise more difficult. We can work in the opposite direction. So we can roll the wheel down the ramp and then pull ourselves back up to the starting position. When you're pulling yourself back up the ramp, it's gonna be much more difficult. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a quick demonstration. What I have here, these are just a few cinder blocks that I have resting on a few 45 pound plates. I just did that to give me the necessary height to meet the angle of the ramp here. <clears throat> so it looked like this. So as you can see, this $10 piece of lumber makes for a very effective and inexpensive addition to the gym. Certainly not the only way to progress with the wheel, but a definitely an excellent option. It's also convenient at, as the ramp here can be stored up against the wall, won't take up any floor space in your gym. So if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email at ross at rosstraining.com.